cheesy, mate. I'm getting away from you. What's good, Geezer gang? We're coming to you live, but not live, from International Drive. And we're alive in <laughs> America. Hi, international Drive. Say hi. Hi. So yes, this is our last day here. It's our last day in this beautiful Florida sunshine. It's nearly our last day. Oh, it's nearly our last day, isn't it? Yeah, because we go home tomorrow, but this is our last full day here. One more sleep. And we're really excited to go home now, aren't we? Yeah, we're ready. We filled our cup here. We've really enjoyed ourselves. We've done so much, had so many great experiences, and we've really enjoyed taking you guys along with us. And today, we've only just started the vlog, 4 p.m. in the afternoon. We've had a very busy morning. We've been packing. Jamie's back at the hotel, still packing. She got too much. We told her, she's like, don't fill up your suitcase, leave space. You're going to want to bring stuff back. And lo and behold, you want to bring stuff back, and some stuff you can't fit in there. But yeah, we've had a nice easy morning. I've been editing the video just to get out today. I've been doing my ethics work. We've got a lot going on with ethics at the moment, so I've just been trying to smash away, get as much done as possible. And also, I've just arranged another school talk. I'm going to be going abroad for this one to a, an international school, which is really, really exciting. I'm really happy to go and do it. And we're going to be. You're coming with us. <laughs> Thank you, promise I won't go away again. So for today, Jojo just wanted to explore the area. Namely, the first one is bowling. We're going to go bowling. He really, really likes bowling. And also, the second thing we're going to do after bowling, it's quite a surprise to us, and it might be to you guys, but we'll show you that then. First, onto the bowling fun. These dudes for the Hogan shop, they put in some serious time dancing out here, man. Come on down to the Hogan shop, brother. You know, we got great prices, anything to accommodate you Hogan maniacs. Now, let me hear it. And let's go into the Hogan shop. Yeah, brother. <laughs> nice, man. To be fair, for the six weeks we've been here, there's always been someone outside dancing away. There's been music pumping away, and it does entice you in. I know it's a beach shop, there's nothing we that we're going to need. If any day, the last day, we have to do it. We're not going to probably buy anything, though. Yeah, and mummy, let's get dancing, yeah? Come around, the lad. There's the main man, angry as ever. They have, like, wrestling going on in here and everything. Is that the Hulkster? Do not touch. Who's that? Oh, what's his name? Jimmy. Oh, man. Those of you know that WWF. Jimmy, I can't remember his name now. To be honest, he had this before Usain Bolt came around. Oh, that's it. Jimmy the Mouth South. Good. Are you doing Usain Bolt or are you doing Hulk Hogan? Rubbish! Yeah! Oi, not in the nuts, mate. That's a bit below the belt, quite literally. You know, when I was younger, I used to be obsessed with WWF wrestling, Hulk Hogan, all of those guys. I'm a warrior, you name it, Bret Hart. Love them all. Comment below if you used to be into WWF. I know it's changed and there's different names right now. So if you do like it now, you like something very different. But this is the original stuff, the real wrestlers, real. He does not look like this now. Mummy, are you all hulked out? Yes. That's some dope dancing. I think we should acknowledge Jojo's new hair at the moment. Looking good, mate. Courtesy of Mummy. So, Mummy, what was your strategic thinking behind the hair? It's just easier for him on the plane. It means he doesn't have to have his hair brushed or combed or anything. No big bun, so when he sits back on the plane, he can relax properly. On to bowling. Three, two, one. Oh, my God. <laughs> we made it. Woo. That would be a disaster, wouldn't it? Mummy, you have this beautiful guy. Oh, it's a sudden, never mind. Pull up to the slanted house. The oh. slanted house? Yeah. There's no slanted house. Smashed it into the ground. Godzilla? That God oh my goodness. What would you do, babe, if we came home and that's what our home looked like? I'd be quite concerned. That Godzilla's proper inconsiderate. I wonder if that not mess you up. You're going in, you think it's going to be slanted and it isn't. Oh, bowling. Mummy's gone to the toilet when it's her go, which shouldn't be allowed in bowling, should it? Should we take her go? Yeah. I'm Katie. Oh, cool. 
How was bowling, guys? Good. Nobody got a strike. I know. I'm so disappointed. This sounds like such a rubbish cop out. But like the floor there just seemed dodgy. It, it always was seemed tilted. It was both sides. It just flopped off so easy, didn't it? I'm glad you agreed with me. I don't yeah, know why yeah, I'm such an idiot was, now. It was tilted, and I broke a nail as well. My Ouch. goodness. I know that's like first world problems. But... King's prob uh, bowling. You're going to be getting a claim from us. No, it does actually hurt. So now we're going to go into the second place, which Jojo's. He's had a bit of an interesting go in there, just because it's quite curious. Basically, it's McDonald's, but it's like this McDonald's they have here is the biggest McDonald's in the world. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, so we were like, one, what the hell is in there to make it the biggest McDonald's yeah. ever? And two, is there anything we can actually eat in there? Yeah. He's curious, so we thought we'll go in there and see because I'm it is curious very much because I've never actually been in there and said, do you do anything vegan? And it's very bright out there. They've done it up to make it very appealing. That. So yeah, I'm curious as well. Is it just the restaurant or is there something else? Let's go and find out. Let's have a look. See, they don't exactly mess about letting people know that it's there. Neon lights and everything. It's got a scary clown on the door. Yeah. Look at his face, man. How on earth would that face entice you? And do you know what? Sam had a good theory about this sign. So they messed it up and they didn't actually figure out the space and the size of the letters. And so they just tried to do this design because it looks stupid overlapping. Normally for vegans, including us, McDonald's is just a toilet stop. So this is going to be quite weird. Oh my God, they have like, you can order yourself machines and that. Is there stairs? Oh my god. What's that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah! I think it's some sort of big play area. Oh yeah, it's an, it's an arcade as well. Right, this makes a lot more sense why it's so big and popular. It's an arcade and there's a play area which he's just disappeared into. Does it cost anything, Mummy? No, it's free. Yeah. That's pretty cool, isn't it? A play area here. They we probably expect you to buy food. Yeah, we're probably the only ones who will use the play area only. I feel like I should use the toilet but make it right that we've been here. Just use the toilet. Go and have a win. Go, 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 go. So long. There's a slide up there. You can figure out how to get down it. It's a maze. What have you found? <laughs> what is that? Like a fixed pogo stick. It's a candy cane bouncer. Candy cane bouncer? Yeah. Does this mean that you like McDonald's now? Yeah. <laughs> Would you go to McDonald's if it didn't have a play area? No. So I must admit, it's a bit of a pleasant surprise to have this here, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's weird because it's like you're, we're sitting in the McDonald's and we're happy. I feel really cheeky though, because this is for free, but they obviously expect you to buy something. Yeah, I, I can't imagine there's one kid that's coming here and not had McDonald's with their plate on. Well, there is one kid now. He keeps giving me editing tips, you know. And he went, no, 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 you can delete that, you can cut there. <laughs> you know too much. They got fruit ninja, probably the only fruit yeah. they've got in here. <laughs> so Jojo, was that good fun playing? Oh uh, yeah, it was. I'm not kidding, I'm actually hungry. Should we see if they do anything in here? Yeah? I'm hungry, let's see if they do right. anything. Chips are probably off. They do pizza. So, do you know if you do any options for vegans? Vegan? Jojo, would you like any food from in there? Do you want to go, there's a Chinese buffet. Do you want to go there instead? Yeah. Get loads there. Come on in. That was fun, wasn't it? That was, that was a weird experience. You had a lot of fun. That, that a good play area? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was a pretty good play area. Weird having that in there. It's weird having a positive experience in McDonald's other than just using the toilet. The good thing was we didn't spend a single penny in there, did no. we? we went, to be honest, I was honestly trying to see what sort of food they had. And they've got a few more varieties than they have in uh, England. They had, like, but they've got like uh, they've they got, got pizzas pizza. and stuff like that. That was weird seeing that in there. And pasta. Pasta is vegan. They've got some fruit pots, but they're like really small. And salad without the dressing. What I didn't understand, oh. chips have got beef flavouring. Why have you got that on chips? Just let chips be chips. But the good thing is they're getting loads of people who are vegan coming in and asking for options. They said, they, they were like, you guys are everywhere. So that was really encouraging to know there's more people out there. Yeah, she said loads of people are coming in and asking for vegan stuff. So I said, well, it's only a matter of time then. And she said, yeah, there's a burger, a vegan burger in Finland and yeah. hopefully they're going to bring it over here well, soon. But by the sounds of what she said, that it's trialled in Finland and then it's going to be, it's like it's been a successful trial. Because she said then probably the UK, then other countries, and then maybe the US. But this isn't, the actual the biggest one in the world this is the biggest one in the US isn't it <laughs> what is he doing there I think he's sniffing me I'm not sure what do I smell like oh, oh cheesy no. mate I'm getting away from you hang on hang on no what'd you say Ve vegan cheese oh vegan cheese in that case I'm sniffing Ooh, <laughs> vegan cheese mummy right let's go to this buffet I'm hungry Ooh. 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 
Italy, which is Canada, and noodles, french fries, and some fruit. But he's all wants to have his fruit first. What fruit have you got? Pineapple. My turn, mummy. Oh, you've eaten all that already, Jojo. You're hungry, boy. Yeah. I've got pineapple, melon, and loads of lemons. And I'm not pregnant. If anyone's wondering why I've got lemons. And I've just gone for a very safe dish of all fruit. But this will not be the end of it. This is just to line my stomach with good stuff. The broccoli monster's here. So now we've got all the cooked food going. What? What? How dare you? Does it taste good? New Dillage. Mummy. In a restaurant, don't use your hands. Yeah. But what did I marry? Someone Daddy, perfect. Daddy's taught me to use hands. Uh oh. But spring rolls is the only thing you can eat with your hands. The only thing. Yeah. Yeah, you can eat spring rolls with your hands. <laughs> oh, sophisticated with the chopsticks now, are we? Show off. I do this all the time. What? Was this noodle fest? Yeah. Oh, she couldn't resist. You two having a nice post food cuddle? I can't see mummy's head. Not coffee. Mm. Not tea. Mm. All done, mummy. Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> You're in. Yeah. After all the fun you had at me sliding off the pole, yeah? This is my early birthday present. Hey. Let's see an action replay of that now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to the hotel and we'll see what it says inside our fortune cookies. For our last night. What do you do if it said you will be going home tomorrow? <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be like, I knew that. I'd be pretty impressed. <laughs> what if it said your flight's delayed? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we went on that the other night. Yeah. We went on that right up there the other night. And I'll tell you what, it was flipping cold up there. It's higher than all of the buildings. It's so it, high. Oh, it, it was funny. I was actually planning up there. I was like, I'll get my phone up or I'll like Instagram. And it started going up and I felt the breeze. I was like, no way. Hands in pockets, everything. Jojo was sitting next to me on there. And you mm -hmm. were so brave, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, you and said, oh, mummy, you don't like this. I'm scared. And I said, you're safe with mummy. And you just went okay, and then you just enjoyed it, didn't you? Yeah, just said, Mummy, dear, Mummy, Mummy, dear, mommy Jojo. Dear. Jojo, you've been on some amazing rides, you know that. You went on the Rip Rocket ride, that one. Forget that name, I can't even say it probably, but that, that goes up vertically and down and in a loop. It's Rip Ride Rocket. Rip Ride Rocket. Trust you to know it better than me. So, 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 so. just for short, say R, R, R. Was this the pirate ride? R. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cross the road. This could be the last time I swipe this door. This could be the last time I press this button. <laughs> it's the last time we could be going up in this lift. At night? All day. At 8 o'clock at night? On a Friday. <laughs> While wearing this hoodie. <laughs> with crackers in my pocket. Yeah, yeah. They're not much of this could be the last time we sit on this floor. <laughs> Probably not. Actually. Opening crackers. I know, the last, this is the first time. Oh no, hang done. on, they're fortune cookies. Cookies, crackers, your crackers. Crackers! I know that. Crackers. Can you I read what it says, Jojo? Read what it says. Love, mankind, trust the majority, and never Oh, anyone. That's pretty good, man. Oh. I like that. My next. You will open a fortune cookie. It says, it's at the worst of times that you need to summon your optimism. It's pretty standard, really. My fortune cookie is destroyed already. Keep your courage up and it will keep you up. But this is good. Lucky numbers, 53. Well, that, that don't even have that in the UK lottery. Thanks a lot. So that's the end of our day, guys. Don't throw that at the camera. You missed. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching all of our videos. This is the end of the holiday, mummy. I know. A tear might run down my eye right now. I'm happy to go back and everything. Oh, but we really all like this. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You just spray. Someone me. in the live stream was saying, what have we missed most about the UK? And I couldn't think of much at the time, but like 
Ever since then, I just keep thinking of things that I've missed, like my bed, the heating. They're not used to it being cold, so they yeah. don't have heaters. They don't have a very good heating response, yeah, do they? Yeah, they don't have quilts Yeah, well, that on your bed you have like a blanket and a sheet. And like, yeah, just a reliable Wi-Fi, just because it makes things tick over easier and the elements of your life, like work and that, that and you need And our friends, I've like missed yeah. certain people. But do you know what? It's not that I miss stuff, it's I'm looking forward to returning to things, I yeah. think. Yeah, I love it here though. I yeah. love it here, but you it's know. It's got a piece of our heart here. Yeah. We really appreciate though you guys watching our videos while we're out here and following our journey and our holiday. We've got more journeys and more adventures coming up in 2018 that we really can't wait to share with you guys. And we really appreciate all of your comments. Like, the love we get from you guys is absolutely amazing. Yeah, we always tell Jojo when you leave comments for him. Yeah, and we read them to him and he tells us what response to do. What's the witch doing there? Get the witch out of there. So leave your comments below for what you thought of this video. We love to read your comments. And if you're new to the channel and you want to follow our adventures back to England and everything we're doing and where we're traveling this year, we'd love it if you subscribe by the red button oh, that's on my face and it's back to front. You guys suck and it's upside know. down. <laughs> Garrett Pinky has been packed already. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. We'll see you back in England. Ah! <laughs> no, this will not happen back in England. I'm turning it over a new leaf. <laughs>